Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. Finally, Google released June 23 feature drop for Pixel devices and there are a lot of exciting features that I'm gonna show you in today's video. So without further ado, let's jump in. So here I have June update installed on the Pixel 7 Pro and the build number is TQ3A.2306050.012. And now let's take a look at the new features. Now let's talk about the wallpaper and the style app as it got two new features. The first one is the emoji wallpapers that you can access from this option, which is called emoji workshop. When you tap on it, you will see the previously created wallpapers so you can reuse them or you can create a new one. And here it will give you the ability to choose 14 different emojis. So I'm gonna add two more, tap the tick sign, then go to patterns. And here you have five options. So I like this one and then we have colors and here you have plenty of colors. So I'm going to pick this color and once you are done with the choices, you can tap the tick sign at the top right corner, then set wallpaper and choose how you want to set it. And you will notice here the wallpaper has been set. But when I tap on it, nothing happens like uh, what Google showed us in the IO event. But if you want this feature to be activated, you can go again to the created wallpaper and you will see a sparkle icon over here. Tapping on it will give you the option to activate the live wallpaper and then set it again. And now when I tap on my home screen, as you see, it responds to the touches. And later on, if you want to edit any of your emoji wallpapers, head over to the same place and choose the one which is not currently set on your phone and you will find an edit button. Tapping on it will give you the same options. Also, there is an option to share the wallpaper with others. So when you tap on share and then choose the app you want, it will share it as an image so others can set it as a wallpaper on their phones too. And lastly, if you don't have something in mind and you want a random emoji wallpaper, you have a randomizer over here that you can click on and it will give you a lot of options to choose from with different colors. Change number two in the wallpaper and the style app is the ability to create cinematic wallpapers from your photos. All you need to do is to go to the app, then change wallpaper, tap my photos and select the one you want. You should see a sparkle button here at the top right corner, but unfortunately I didn't get the feature on my phones yet. But let me show you a quick example over here. So here's someone is trying to set the wallpaper and the sparkle button is over here. Tapping on it will show you an overlay card. When you activate the switch, and then give it some time, it will create the cinematic wallpaper for you. But it seems like the feature takes a long time to work. So let's wait for it. And here is how the cinematic wallpaper looks like. You will also notice here that when you tell the device, the background moves separately from the subject, giving you this nice parallax effect. Let me also show you another example from Google's website. And here is how it looks. The background is separated from the subject. And also when you tap on the subject, it will add some extra light and it will make it slightly pop on the screen. And that's pretty much everything new in the wallpaper and the style app. Now let me show you a couple of new exciting camera features, but after taking a quick break with today's sponsor. If you've ever thought why in the world is my wireless bill is so high, then let me tell you about Mint Mobile, who I'm partnering with for today's video. You might already know Mint Mobile if you have seen those funny ads from Ryan Reynolds, who is also an owner. But let me quickly tell you how awesome their service is. They are built on the nation's largest 5G network, and they keep the costs low because they sell direct to you online. So they cut out the retail stores and salespeople. So why should you pay more than you have to for access to the same network? All Mint Mobile plans include unlimited nationwide talk and text, plus lightning fast 5G and a free mobile hotspot. Mint also offers a modern family plan that lets you set up a super affordable family plan with as little as two lines. And now is an extra offer for the channel. If you sign up before July 14th using my link, you will get their unlimited plan, which is normally $30 a month for only 15. And that means 50% savings of their already super low price. So you can use my link mintmobile.com forward slash in depth tech or click the link in the description or scan the QR code showing now on the screen if you are interested. And if you already made the switch, please let me know in the comments what do you think. But for now, let's get back to the review. Now let's talk about the camera features. And the first one is the new macro videos only available on the 7 Pro because this is the only model that supports the feature. So when you go to camera, then video, and then get the overlay settings, you will see here a new macro focus toggle. You can switch between off, 
auto or on all the time so i'm going to keep it on auto and here i have a subject to make it too close to the camera and you will notice here that the macro bubble is now showing on the screen this is a really nice feature and it will make a huge difference in your camera experience in my opinion because it's no longer limited to photos and i think the range is about three to five centimeters away from the camera which is great the second new feature in the camera is the ability to take hands-free photos using an air gesture so for example i'm gonna switch to the front camera and then turn on the timer which is a mandatory step for this feature to work you can choose three or ten seconds i'm gonna choose three seconds and when the camera sees your palm it will draw a square around it in about one or two seconds like this and then the timer will start to take the photo and by the way this feature works with the back camera and it's smart enough to understand if you are taking a photo of your hands or you mean to trigger the feature because in this case it doesn't see any faces in the frame even though my timer is activated so nothing is happening but let me show you here a quick demo while taking a photo with the back camera and here i activated the timer first I'm at 1x as you see here and now it sees my palm and activated the feature so it's a very nice touch from Google. This feature is only available for the Pixel 6 models and later and keep in mind something when you use it with the back camera and have the timer light activated you will know when the timer will start so for example as you see here now I know that I should remove my palm from the frame to take the photo which is a nice touch as well now let's talk about some extra features Google added with this update and the first one is called smarter haptics if you are using a pixel 7a or 6a you will notice a very strong vibration if you have the phone on a table or desk and then somebody calls you or text you so if you want to overcome these noisy vibrations now you can head over to settings sound and vibration then vibration and haptics and you will see here a new toggle called adaptive alert vibration the description says reduce vibration strength while your phone is still and the screen is facing up so when you turn on the switch you will no longer hear this noisy vibration the second feature is related to adaptive charging and as per google now the feature uses ai to better predict your charging habits and prolong your battery lifespan but when i went to the battery settings and then adaptive preferences i couldn't find anything new related to adaptive charging it works exactly the same so it seems like the change is behind the scenes there are also two notes added to the feature on Google's website. The first one, it requires several days to learn your charging habits and it also requires some consistency. So if you are not consistent enough in how you charge your phone, the feature might not work. So I'm going to give it several days and update you on this. Change number three in this chapter is the redesigned home controls panel. Unfortunately, I didn't get this change on my phone, but you can see now on the screen how it looks. It will first show you the groups you have the favorite devices and automations so you can take quick actions without opening the app then you will see live streams from your smart security cameras and locks and when you try to access the new home panel from the lock screen and activate the live stream of your cameras that's when it will ask you to unlock the device for your privacy maybe i didn't get the new home panel but i found that my smart lights controls now look totally different so when i tap and hold on this light for example you will see here a much bigger slider that will allow me to adjust the brightness with more precision plus six quick shortcuts for six different colors and a palette button over here that will allow you to get the color wheel and the temperature slider so it looks much better than before next the recorder app and it got three new features for the pixel 6 models and newer the first one is the ability to export your transcript to google docs which is one of the features i already got here on my pixel 7 pro so you have the option to copy transcript to google docs and when you tap on the button it will ask you to choose the google account and then it will copy the transcript and save it automatically to your google docs and if you want to open the app now you see the recording and here is the transcript uh, there are two more features that will be available next week the first one is the ability to search for the speaker in your recording so for example if you have multiple speakers in the recording you will be able to hit the search bar and search for the speaker but this feature is not yet available and the second one is the ability to generate video clips that are speaker labeled and you will see now on the screen an example from google's website showing how the feature work you will notice here at the top left corner a bubble with the speaker name which is not also yet available on my mobile 
Now let's talk about Google Assistant as it got two new voices that you can find under your Google Assistant settings. Then scroll down a bit until you see something called Assistant Voice and Sounds. You will see two new colors here, Lime and Indigo. So let me raise the volume and give you a quick demo. Here are the voices you can pick for your Google Assistant. If you like this voice and want me to keep using it, just stop here. And here's the line. Here are the voices you can pick for your Google Assistant. If you like this voice and want me to keep using it, just stop here. The second new feature in Google Assistant is the ability to start a safety check using a voice command. So let me give you a quick demo. Start a safety check for five minutes. You will notice here at the top that safety check started for five minutes and when I tap on this notification, it will take me to the safety check page in the safety app and you can stop it by tapping the X over here. Talking about safety, there is one more feature added to the car crash detection. Unfortunately, car crash detection is not available in my country, but as per Google, and instead of only calling the emergency services if the feature is triggered, but now you can also share your real-time location and your call status with your emergency contacts. Now let's talk about what's new on Wear OS on the Pixel Watch. And the first one is the three new tiles for the Spotify app. So if you have Spotify installed on your Pixel Watch and your phone, and then try to add a new tile, you will see here heavy rotation, which will show the playlists you have in your library, and also podcasts, which will show you the new episodes once they arrive. But when I add them, I don't have either new episodes or any playlists in my Spotify app, and this is how it will look in this case. It will take you right away to the app itself if you want to listen to music. There is a third one that I didn't get as well. It's called Spotify DJ Session. I'm not sure if it requires a subscription or not, but I don't have it yet on my Pixel Watch. The second new feature is the automatic pausing for the exercise sessions. So for example, if you are running or walking and started an exercise on your Pixel Watch and then you decided to stop for a break or to take a breather, then the watch will automatically pause the session until you finish your quick break and return back to the exercise and that's when it will resume counting your numbers. Change number three is Google Assistant now available in five more languages on your Pixel Watch. They are Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, Polish and Swedish. Change number four is the new heart rate notifications. So if your heart rate is higher or lower than expected, you will get notified on your Pixel Watch to keep an eye on your heart rate. And you can see now on the screen an example from Google's website. Change number five and the last one is the blood oxygen tracking while sleeping. But unfortunately, I didn't get this feature on my Pixel Watch. And as per Google's website, it's only available in certain countries without specifying the list. And when I open the Fitbit app, there is nothing about the blood oxygen. Also, when I go to sleep data, there is nothing over here. So maybe it needs some time to be available or maybe I'm not in one of the supported countries. So please let me know in the comments if you can see it on your Pixel Watch or not. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I wanted to show you in June 23 feature drop for Pixel devices. And please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.